Raise your hand if you've ever set a goal, set out to do something, decided you were going to make a change, and started off really great, and then your motivation basically takes a head first dive off a tall cliff. Raise your hand because I have done it. I know everybody else does it too. It can be so hard to stay on track with motivation and to stay motivated towards your goals. But today I'm going to tell you how to stay motivated, how to keep yourself wanting that thing that you're working towards so that you stay on the path to hit those goals and you don't fall off along the way, making it a way longer path than it should be. If you are brand new here, my name is Jessica Stansberry and I am on a mission to help you get out of your own way, stop making excuses so that you can do what you were put on this earth to do. It's my mission in life. Hopefully yours is just as amazing. Now, listen, if that's something you're here for, if you're like, yes, I need something in my life that's going to help me stay motivated, help me get out of my own way, stop making excuses. One, you're in the right place right here and you need to hit subscribe. But two, I have a chart topping podcast called Grit that is all motivational and mindset and business tips weaved into the Stop Making Excuses platform. So if you want to check that out, I will also link it below or you can just search Grit, G-R-I-T, on any of your favorite podcast players. Now, Today we're talking motivation. I'm really bad at this myself. Like I can, I can be like, okay, the goal is to lose 50 pounds or whatever. The goal is to do whatever. And I start off really strong and then in a few days or weeks or even months or hours, I suck and I just completely give up and my motivation just isn't there anymore. And when your motivation falls off, it's, really hard to get back on track towards that goal because you're not actually wanting it big enough or bad enough. So I'm going to give you five tips to keep your motivation on track, to stay motivated, to stay on the path to hit those goals so that you're not falling off and being like, oh, what happened? First tip, first and foremost, is you need to surround yourself with motivational content and people, okay? This can be podcasts, YouTube channels, um, conferences, whatever, but surround yourself with motivation. Give yourself a way to be motivated every day. Find the thing that really lights your butt on fire and do it every single day. So for me, there's certain podcasts, certain um, YouTube channels, certain books that I can read that really just light a fire under my hind end. And so if I'm lacking motivation, I'll turn on one of those. If I'm feeling like, oh, I just want, don't want to do this today, I'll turn on one of those podcasts so that so whoever is on the other end is telling me, like, you don't need to act like this, yo. You need to get back on the track, back on the train, and head towards your goals. So find something that's going to be really motivational for you, that's going to be something that always lets a fire under your butt, regardless of how many times you hear it or see it or whatever, and do it. Podcasts, books, conferences you can go to. All of those things are really great places to start. All right, the second tip is to find a mantra that lights your butt on fire. So mantras, so okay, so something you should know about me. I am not very woo-woo. I am very much so a more practical person where it's like there has to be an explanation. The woo-woo stuff doesn't always appeal to me, but at the same time, I believe in some of it and I'm really um, obsessed with pieces of the woo-woo world, right? And mantras are a piece of that. If we're constantly telling ourselves something, it becomes our truth. Like if we're constantly out there in the world or somehow saying something or seeing something or we have it written on a sticky note or on our mirror or on a chalkboard or whatever, then it becomes our truth. So if there's a mantra that really lights you up, if there's a quote, if there's something you've just come up with, you've heard your favorite motivational speaker or podcaster or whatever say, write it on a sticky note and keep it where you can see it. Put it on your mirror. 
Um, put it as the background on your computer or your phone. Write it on your wall, like whatever you need to do. Keep that mantra close to you so that you're constantly repeating it and saying it over and over and over again. So one of the things here is I used to struggle very heavily with being so multi-passionate and so like all over the place that I could never actually focus. I could, I was always like, you know, okay, this is how I'm making money now, but for whatever reason, like this is where I'm thinking about going in two days. Like I was always so all over the place. I heard a quote one time from Will Smith that was, and I don't, I'll, I'll mess it up, I'm sure, but it was basically like, don't have a plan B. It will distract you from plan A. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. So I literally wrote it on a sticky note, kept it on my computer for years. And every time I would feel like I was getting distracted from what I was actually going for, I would look at that and be like, okay, this is plan B and I don't need to work towards plan B. I'm working on plan A right now, right? So if it's a mantra, something someone has said, keep it close to your heart and make it be something you say or look at or read every single day. All right, so another thing you can do is to write your goals that you're working towards, the things you need to be motivated to do in a very, very visible place. Now, some people teach that you should write your goals down every single day. I don't necessarily think you should have to write them down every day, but seeing them every day is super powerful. So if you have a um, sticky note that you can put on your computer with like five or 10 goals that you're working towards, if you have, um, again, a chalkboard, a grease board, something like that, where you can write down the goals you're working towards, seeing them every single day is going to help you be like, oh yeah, that's what I'm working towards. That's what I'm, I'm going towards. I personally, for years now, and I don't remember where I first heard it, but for five or six years now, I write my goals as if they've already happened. So like, instead of saying, I want to make $10 million a year or whatever, that's like an arbitrary random number. I will say, I make 10 million a year. Or instead of saying like, I drive a certain, or I want to buy a certain car. I say, I drive a certain car. And so it kind of just puts that, puts my brain in a place where I'm like, oh, that's the person I wanna be. I'm working towards that. So if you're ever feeling less than motivated, go back to those goals and be like, okay, this is what I'm working towards. It's gonna fire you up and be like, yes, I need to be doing the things I need to be doing to get to that point. All right, the next thing, so number four, is to have accountability. Motivation is hard to keep. It's easy to, to get but it's hard to keep. So if you can find people who are gonna keep you accountable to working towards your goals, to being motivated to get there, so this can be friends or clients even, coaches, your team, business partners, like whatever, you need to get them on board with where you wanna go and how you need to get there so that they can help you keep that motivation going. Um, if you have a coach or something like that, they're gonna be the ones who, when you show up and you're like, oh my God, I just don't wanna do this anymore. Like, this is like not what I wanna do anymore. They're gonna be the ones who are like, yes, girl, do the thing. You're gonna be awesome at it. Here's why, and here's how I'm gonna help you stay accountable. So make sure you're somehow working accountability into your goals. Now, this could be on weight loss. This could be on business. All of these are applicable to any goal you're working towards because the motivation always dwindles right? So there's also like fail safe plans that you can put in place and accountability is one of them. If you just know like by like day 10 of eating healthy, you're going to suck so bad because you always have, you've never made it past 10 days of eating healthy without like totally binging on Cheetos, then put some things in place to make that not be the case. Get an accountability buddy who's going to, on day 10, really check in with you and let you know that like you've got this, that you don't need to fall off the wagon, et cetera, et cetera. So you can absolutely put things in place to kind of hold you accountable, right? Now, the fifth thing is kind of an arbitrary thing, and it's probably something I should have said at the beginning, but I wanted to round out my numbers. I didn't want it to be four tips, I wanted it to be five. So the fifth thing here is to make sure that your want to achieve that goal is big enough. Something I see so much in myself, in my students, in my clients, in my audience, 
is that they'll be like, well, I want to do that, but I um, would love to do that, but that's cool for you, but I don't think I like have what it takes to do that. Their want is not big enough. So they may say like, I want to make $100,000 a year, but the want there is actually not a big enough want for them to stay on track. In, and be motivated for their goals. This is something I've struggled with with losing weight. I've mentioned it a couple times on this channel, on these videos. I've mentioned it a lot on the podcast, a lot on my Instagram, but basically I gained, over the course of like three years, I gained 30 pounds. And for however long I've been trying to get it back off. And it's been one of those things where I had to sit down and evaluate, like obviously I don't want it bad enough. Because if I did, I'd really keep my motivation and I'd keep working towards it. And right now, at the time of recording this video, I'm doing great. I'm staying motivated. I'm like hitting the gym really hard. I'm work, um, eating well, all of those things. But there was a time I had to check in with myself and say, do you actually want it though? Like you, you say you do, but you're not doing the actions it takes to get it. So do you actually want it? So I want you to evaluate, like if you're feeling unmotivated or you feel like you're falling off the wagon every step of the way, like you're working towards a business goal or you're working towards a financial goal or a weight loss goal or a fitness goal or whatever, and you feel like you're constantly like falling off the wagon, figure out if your want is big enough. Do you want it bad enough? That's basically what it comes down to. And if you don't, then you need to check in with yourself. Is it really something you should be working towards? Or do you just really need to be more motivated and treat it as a bigger goal, right? So hopefully those tips help. You've got this. Like, first of all, let me just be your accountability partner and your people, uh, podcast, video, whatever you need to hear to motivate you. You've got this. Whatever goal you're working towards, I promise you can do it. You just have to get out of your own way. Nobody else is in your way. You're in your own way. Whether it's excuses or your mindset or whatever, you are in your own way from achieving those goals. So you have got this. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And I will see you next week. Bye, y'all.